H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay. And these are the rules for your constants. And the constants are, these are called constants because these variables have this particular value and this value cannot be changed. Okay. So, I'll close this particular and save this class file. So now your cross sign has gone from the from the from the tab out here. It was showing it is not a class file. It is basically an interface by itself. Now a class has to implement this particular interface. So what we can do is that we can create a class inside this package. I'll call this class as just example, not example one, or I'll call this as let's say implemented class one IC one. That is what it means implemented class, and I can call the main method out here. And what I need to do is that you see it is part of the same package. I need to implement the interface for implementing an interface. I have to, the interface name is test. So if uh, implementing the interface, I need to use the implements keyword and then give the interface name. Now, if you see out here, there's a rule that when a public class this is a public class. This is not an abstract class. So now when a public class is implementing the interface, all the abstract methods of the interface has to be overridden. That means the implementation of the abstract classes, these are the abstract classes, will have to be there in the class implementing the interface. Or so in other words, I can say that it is compulsory that when a public class is implementing an interface, all the abstract methods present in the interface has to be overridden in the class implementing it so if you see out here there's a red underline below ic1 that is implemented class 1 if you see there's a option add unimplemented method that means add the unimplemented methods of the interface that is nothing but the abstract methods so just click out there you will get all the abstract methods okay now if you see out here test 9 10 11 12 are abstract methods okay whereas test 1 and 3 are concrete method which are static and having the access specifier as public and default so it is just first of all calling the abstract methods so 9 10 11 and 12 okay now if you look at this particular scenario out here the abstract methods 2 are public 9 10 are public 11 and 12 are default when you are, it is implemented in the class, when it is overridden in the class, implementing the interface, all, even your 10, 11 and 12, is having the public access specifier. Whereas if you go to the abstract method 11 and 12, it is default. And that is what it happens. When a class is implementing uh, abstract method from the interface, okay, it turns to your public access specifier. This is another observation that we need to see. That is the rule and that is a compulsory rule. So if you see, even if 11 and 12 are default abstract methods, when it is overridden in the class implementing it, it becomes a public access specifier. Okay, but if you take the case of a simple abstract class, not an interface, and it has abstract methods, let's say public and word, when a class is implementing the abstract class, when a class is implementing the abstract class, all the abstract methods will retain its access specifier in the class implementing the abstract class. But in interfaces, if a class is implementing an interface, 
whatever is the access specifier be it public or default it will be turning to public that is a general understanding or a compulsion or a rule whatever you can understand it okay and for a public class implementing the interface all the abstract methods present in the interface has to be overridden now i can have in my own body whatever body i wish to i can write my own body sys out this is let's say testing test 9 this is a hard coding to understand it and then this can be testing test 10 all are public all the overridden method becomes public access specifier this can be and it is non static just look at it here one of the access specifiers public has uh, it is all non static abstract methods defined inside the interface are non static so when it is actually being called all are non static i can just put 11 and this can be put as 12 okay now this particular class can have its own property also so i can have my own property also for example string let's say a variable called as non-static default uh, i'll call this as ic1 variable or i'll call this as var1 string type okay this is a property of this class and it can have similarly it can have n number of global variables as this property plus it can have its own method also so this is a method of your i can create a public static void type method let's say So just defining it uh, so I can call this let's say an add method so this is an example so this can be I'll just use a hard coding at this point of term adding that's all and i can use one more method called public non-static method void return type let's say subtract i'll just give a uh, hard coding this point this point of time so subtracting so these two methods add and subtracts are properties or methods of the public class and this is a property of the public class again now uh, can I create an object of the interface called test if I try to create it inside the test interface so let me try to create it so this I will just give a creating an object of interface by rule you cannot create an object of the interface and that is why it is implemented by another class otherwise how we will use the properties of the interface out here so if we try to do that let's say t1 is equal to new test it is going to show you a problem out here you can see that cannot instantiate the type test you cannot create an object of the interface so I'm commenting it I try to create an object of the interface in the class implementing it in the main method for example still I will have a problem cannot instantiate the type interface I will but I can create an object of the class implementing the interface so this is the class and I can create an object of this class. I'll call this as i reference variable. 
new IC1 this can be created okay and then I can basically use the concrete methods of the interface these are the two concrete methods which are allowed public static and default static okay I do not have a body inside it so I can write down a body part this is out so I just write down testing concrete method test one in interface and for this one I'll just hard code it testing concrete method test test three concrete uh, public method you can say this is concrete default method in test three in interface how do I use it the static method call be called directly and the static public method is test one so control space bar do you get test one you don't get test one so how do you use it then static can be called start in inside the static menu method directly so you have to give the name of the interface so test dot you will get the concrete method test one you can see that this is the concrete method test one and what about the non static test three method concrete method inside interface how do you call it with the reference variable i dot this will have a problem let me there's no option for test 3 you can see that so if I try to put test 3 and try to call it like this it will have a problem and the syntax error will be method test is undefined for the type ICI so you are calling with the reference variable of IC1 okay so that is why this is showing you a problem but for example I can create an object of IC1 IC1 and reference it with the test interface T1 I can do that this is possible and then I can call the test1 public concrete method static concrete method how do I call it I can call it with test dot t1 and i can also call the default static concrete method which is not by called by i dot test 3 because i is a reference variable ic1 but t this this particular object is referenced by the t1 reference variable of the interface so i can call it with t1 dot test 3 right now why is it not coming this is also showing you a problem and default can be used across packages so what is the deal of calling it see if I put a test dot I get T3 also so that is what is happening that means oh this is a static method I am sorry it's a default static method I did not call it with the I or IC1 and interfaces can only have public and default static concrete methods I don't need to use I and IC1 so this absolutely usage is wrong so I'll comment it but you can also create an object like this and call it with the ref reference variable of the interface that's also not a problem so here also then I can call uh, the test 3 with the test interface name dot t3 will come that is why I was thinking that why it is not coming at any anyway. now rest of the methods these are overridden methods from the abstract methods of the interface all are non-static 9 10 11 12 so I know it has to be called with the reference variable i dot 
test uh, capital T nine. I can call with I dot test ten. I can call with I dot test eleven because all are non-static. I have to call with the reference variable of the IC one class. So this will be I dot test twelve. Like this here also. All these are part test nine, ten, eleven, twelve abstract methods. So I can create an object of this and call it with the reference variable of the test interface. So I can use T one T one dot test nine. T1 dot test 10 and call T1 dot test 11 and I can use T1 dot test 12 for this object also. I will separate the objects with a CISO statement so that the differentiation of the answers is seen in the console of Eclipse. Okay, and now what about there are the class IC1 has its own method or rather its own variable var1 which is non static and its own method add and subtract. One is static, one is non static. So, non static variable first that has to be called with, with the i reference variable of this object i dot var1 I'm getting that it has to be in string format so you can just write down uh, variable of ic1 or i a and terminate it is ic1 and I can use a CISO statement and I can use i dot var1 you can use that and methods there are two methods add and subtract add and subtract are static and non static respectively add can be called it's a static method I can call add directly you can see control space bar I will get the add method or I can call with the class name in which add method is present or this is part of this particular class so I can write down simple like this also I see one dot add okay but I cannot call with the test interface because if I try to call with test dot I will forcefully put it it is going to show you a syntax problem because this is not a method of the interface. This is a method present in the class implementing the interface. Okay. Similarly, the add method in this particular object referenced by the T1 reference variable of the interface. So, add method, can I call it out here? Control space bar. Static methods do not have any problems whether you are referring the creating an object and reference variable is of the uh, test interface I can also call it with the IC1 class name dot add because this class has this particular method but I cannot call it with the test interface because the test interface does not have the add method I forcefully use it I will have a syntax problem so static methods called inside an object referenced by the interface do not have any problem when I call it here or in this particular this is an object referenced by the same class file reference variable but this is an object referenced by the reference variable of the interface static method will not have any problem but ensure that you do not use test in both these objects 
because it does not belong to the test interface, the add method. What about the non-static? Subtract method. So I will try to call with the I reference variable of this object. So I dot subtract. Do I see it? I can see it. Okay. And this is ref this is a object reference by the interface reference variable. So I can use T1 dot subtract. Do I get that particular option? I don't get it because simple fact this is a reference variable of the interface pinpointing to the object so if i use the reference variable of interface how can i use this method subtract which is a method of your interface of your uh, of the ic1 class file implementing it so if i forcefully use it i am going to have a problem check out the implementation part so if I run the class file I'll get the result based on what is accepted and what is not accepted these are adding and subtracting these are being called twice subtracting method you're getting the adding the body part of the add method no subtracting is coming and these are nothing but uh, other parts of it okay similarly if I go out here so I have used the concrete methods and the abstract methods of the interface I have used the methods present in the class file implementing in the interface I have used the variables present in the class file in the used in the I have used the variables present in the class file implementing the interface and that is what is given out here so these are properties of IC1 class okay here also I will write down these are I have not used the variable out here the variable is non static I want to call it in this object referenced by the interface out here so I try to use I dot var1 not I I will be allowed this is reference variable t1 dot do I get var I do not get anything called var I forcefully use it and give a value to it for example the value will be let's say variable of the same value if I forcefully use it I will not be able to use because var1 is a property of the IC1 class and you are referencing it with the t1 which is a reference variable of the interface that is why this problem is cropping up so I'll comment it and I'll write down this part okay